I moved to New York when I was 17 with this guy in his band called Dick Sister. <laughs> and my mom had Your like poor parents. My mom had no follow up questions. She was That's just like it? on the Good. front lawn and like a dashiki. Like sounds <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Like strong women Dick rock, sister. and I'm like, that's not really helpful Dick right now. Sister, yeah, wow. I moved with Dick Sister. I love Dick Sister so much. She was like, well, I was in a band. Well, I was like a boy with a band named Black Cox, so we're fine. Like in my day, that was <laughs> Dick Sister was no big deal. Yeah. So they were like didn't. very supportive. Like, yeah, go do your I mean, talent I shows. I think it. I don't know if it's support. It should even be called supportive. <laughs> I mean, it was clearly not okay at yeah. all. I should not have been allowed to leave at 17 yeah, with where Dick were you? Sister. Where were where, where, where were they actually? They were in Bethesda, Maryland. Okay. And and Dick Sister and you, just came, and picked me up, and just he moved bounced? with me. And then he kept dumping me, and I loved him so much. You guys, I was. How dumb are you? And I was pretty dumb at the time. <laughs> 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 maybe less dumb now but dick sister would dump me and then i would just beg him to take me back and he'd be like all right and then Fine. he would undump me and then he would take me back and then kind of redump me yeah. i remember my dad had how to come old was up. he he was like four years older than me it oh, might have been illegal okay. as well no, like there was, yeah <laughs> there was this lot there was a two on. period of time that was for sure illegal yep <laughs> yeah. yep but it wasn't like he was like 40 or something crazy yeah. no not it wasn't that crazy I, I mean that would be really funny if dick sister were, was all 40 year olds just 40 or 50 year old guys but no dick sister <laughs> um i really thought they were gonna make it big yeah. and if i could just hold on tight to dick sister ride and, the yeah. dick sister wave and then ride the dick, but he just kept dumping me and i could after i think i was thrice dumped i finally was like all right i gotta well, move any on any self-respecting woman yeah. you know sure of course how many times can you get dumped by dick sister three that's the answer <laughs> how funny is it too you, you know you just like if you do 17 is like young enough that you don't even really care but when you're if you're older and you're in a, in a stupid relationship where it's like when you finally get out of it you look at your what you were doing you're like what the fuck the, the I, decisions like, that I've made are so crazy. like crazy. I was with a guy. Um, this was so crazy, but we met him. He was hanging out outside, like stand up New York one night, and my friend was like, "This guy is kind of like hot. He's kind of your type, and he sort of was like a dusty kind of. He sort of looked like Paul Newman, like he worked in construction or something. He was like a young Paul Newman. He was like hot. Okay, but um, but like a lot of red flags. You yeah, know? yeah, I like yeah. just zoomed past him right red in. You <laughs> yes. know. And then when you get out of it, you really do have like relationship blinders on or whatever amnesia or something where it's like, oh, that was like insane what I was doing. It was insane. And all, for when sure. all of your friends and family are like, yeah, man, like we, yeah. Everyone we were waiting knew. for and you then, to see the light. I'm like, oh, exactly. it's so mortifying. Like, I'm always oh, telling people, I'm like, God. it turned out he had some mental issue. And like, they're like, yeah, we, we knew. Know. Oh, yeah. We knew. We knew yeah. from <laughs> literally Jump Street, like the first time you introduced us. <laughs> Actually, Schumer and I were hanging out at a bar one night just to fuck with me, Amy. Yeah. So we were like, I was like, oh, I think that guy's kind of cute. And I go to the bathroom and she goes up to the guy and she was like, if you follow her to the bathroom, like she'll have Blood. sex with you. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a hell of a prank. <laughs> I mean, she knew he wouldn't really do it. Or she knew that he did would you do it, though? but not like take his dick did out. Did she? <laughs> like, LOL, oh, well, I got my best friend raped in the bathroom. I guess that's a good... <laughs> No, but I think she thought like, oh, he's going to go and try to hook up. Like try right. to say He'll something on first. And, I don't yeah, think yeah. that, I mean, the chances of him being an active rapist and her saying that at the Trillion same time. One. Yeah. <laughs> so if you really crunch the numbers, I probably wasn't going to be assaulted. <laughs> so so he just kind of like, and, and this is like one of the first guys I went out with. And then he, um, he worked at like a law firm or something. And I... I don't know. I just put up with all. He didn't follow me to the bathroom. Actually, he told me later that she what said that. What a gentleman! Yeah. I know. Isn't that nice that That's he didn't Prince fucking try charming. To me. He was like, uh, "I'm all good, lady." <laughs> <laughs> but the guy. Oh, but the guy outside that bar. So she brought him inside, and he said he just got back uh, from a war of some sort. And um, I was like, "Oh, poor guy." And so I got him Low a women, shot you know. or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm actually really. Like I make, and I know this will disgust everybody, but I get really nervous about like hooking up and I can't have like casual, casual sex, sex unless yeah. I'm like really into somebody. So I was like, listen, can we have like a Christian sleepover where we just cuddle? And I, but I'm very clearly outline it. I'm mm -hmm. like, listen, if, if you I know, was your, if you're fair, you I'm know. like, if I was your sexual attorney, I would recommend that you don't take mm -hmm. this deal. It's not a good deal for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, you're gonna be kind of like flaccid and annoyed for the next several hours, yeah, but that's yeah, what yeah. I have on the table. <laughs> but again, if I was you, I would be right. a strong, hard pass. You right, know? right. But he was nice about my Christian sleepover thing. <laughs> and we just like made out and he was pretty sweet. And he said he got back from this war 
And then, um, and he took me over to his apartment. So again, I'm just like, wow, I think I'm going to make it here. A roof. <laughs> yeah, a roof. Right. I don't deserve it's, it. It's, it's <laughs> raining out and we're safe. <laughs> wow. I really did feel that mm-hmm. way. And then, so the next time we went out, he um, he was like a foreman on a construction site or something. And uh, he came to my show. I violently bombed. Like, it was like one of the mm. first times I did stand up. And it was kind of the level where when you bomb, it's like an emergency. You know, you mm-hmm. have to kind of, people have to help you get out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> I think at one point I was like, somebody told me if you bomb really bad to say the most honest thing that comes to your mind. Oh, so I just stood up and I was like, it's my 23rd birthday. And this woman goes, 23 years and not being funny. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> biggest laugh of the night for biggest sure. Laugh of the night. For she had sure. To do like a Chinese fire drill around her table. Like she had so she was just collecting high, five. high fives. <laughs> he stayed, okay? Yeah. After that bomb, if I was That's him, I would you know just he really ran, likes you. Right? But the thing is, I think he was such a guttural alcoholic that he hadn't even noticed that I bombed. Like he was just a deep code red drunk. Oh, <laughs> And I thought, and you're like, what yeah. a guy! And again, I was like, it's a man with a belt, and he's still here. Like, you know, God is so obviously- funny that that he's sitting there, blatantly not even understanding that you are a social loser up there, yes. and you're sitting there not realizing that he's a blind drunk. Yes, what a person! He what, thought what he a was couple. in like Tampa or what? something. Like he had, he was a violent drunk. So what then a we perfect go to, couple. So then we go to the bar afterwards. And he was like, listen, um, just he goes, just so you know, I wasn't really in the war, okay? And so this, and I was like, <laughs> so thankful for the company after that level of like a high uh-huh. octane kind of traumatizing uh-huh. bomb that I was just like, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. Maybe babe. that's why he stayed. Maybe he was like, now's my chance to get out of this lie. absolutely She's right. at her lowest, and I can tell her right now that I... I, I had stolen valor to try to fuck her. Yes. And I'm going to tell her, and she'll be okay with it because she's at rock bottom. I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> and thank you for finally that, dissecting that, that for me. <laughs> and then he goes to me later on, like, we kept hanging out after that, after he told me it wasn't really in the war. I, and, the way you were setting that up was like, the war? What do you mean, the war? I know, like, it was you too would vague, say, right? like, yeah. Afghanistan <laughs> or wherever it was. I was in, like, what, the Great War? You were you in the reference. Korean War? <laughs> were you in the French and Indian War? What is going on here, the war? <laughs> you guys, he had, like, a limp, too. <laughs> I still was just like, but he's got Whatever. a one bedroom. He's going places. <laughs> and, so, so then, and then we would hang out and he was, you know, when you know an alcoholic, like a deep, just, you know, committed alcoholic when they have like sections and the bar, like there's like, and they have control issues yeah. with their money section. And this is the tip part. You know, he had like a whole like system at a bar yep, yep. and I would meet him at this Port Authority bar after he got out of his like foreman job and I got out of my nanny job and he would just get just shit house wasted. <laughs> And every time we would this meet, this is so romantic. <laughs> I thought I it was so it. hot, and like I was so notebook. lucky. And then every time we would meet, he would go at a certain point. He'd be drinking at the bar, and he'd go, "Listen, I got to get out of here. I uh, I got to catch a red eye." And I was like, "Where? Like, who needs you? You know, <laughs> especially in this violently drunk state." And then a few hours later, I was like, "Didn't you have to catch a red eye?" And he admitted to me. He goes, "Well, you know." There's no red eye. I just kind of figured important guys catch red eyes. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating? And, then I, and I, I moved in with him after post the red eye lie. And then we would, again, deserved everything I got after that. And then we would go out. I was always trying to collect him from some bar. And he'd be like, baby, got to get a red eye. I'm like, don't no, fucking you don't. pull your red eye. I've been down that lane and back with you before, my friend. And he admitted finally. He's like, yeah, I guess I just figure, you know, important guys have to catch red eyes or something. So it's come, something I say sometimes. There's you know? something endearing about being that spectacularly stupid. Awesome. Like that man is as dumb as a balloon to be like, I just say I have to catch. Does he, do you think he even knows what that means or he just says the words? I mean, a red Because eye if you also, say you have to catch a red eye and yeah. then you don't go anywhere, it I, doesn't make any fucking sense. It's, you're right, because at a certain point, the cat's out of the bag, right. isn't it? Like there was no red eye because <laughs> you're still no here, eye, dude. And you're still Man, here. Man, that's great. You've had like nine Jaegers. Yeah, that stage of just lying, just blatantly lying to have sex is great. And he would be, and he would get drunk, whereas, do you know any drunks like this where at a certain point in the night he would just kind of start glaring at mm-hmm. something? Mm-hmm. And he would sort of think somebody had an issue with them at the bar. Picking and he'd be a like, fight with a guy just because yeah. they're there. Yeah. And he'd be like, you never defend me. You never oh fucking defend God. me. And I'm like, because 
he's fat. The, he's like he's, an old woman named Virginia. Like yeah. he was glaring at some eighty-year-old lady trying to drink in peace at a Port Authority bar. And I'm pretty sure she hasn't harmed you. These are the things that, like, <laughs> you when you beef with when her. you get out of the relationship, you're like, did you, can you believe? Do you know, he used to try to pick fights with old women at the bar. It's like, yes, yes, we did. We saw him do it I many know. times while you were like rubbing his leg and holding his hands. You idiot. My brother was like, just like this last week, because we went on vacation with my whole family, and they were just telling all these like Chris stories, which was his name. My brother's like. You know that he glared at me like a lot. Like <laughs> I was like, really? He's like, yeah, your birthday. I had to leave because he kept glaring. He would just choose one person to look at them like this. Really? You know, and there was always one enemy that he had. Yeah. At the bar. And then he would oh, just, I love it. Then and these are the sometimes people you choose it would be to my, associate my brother. with. Yeah. Know? And I was like, did he ever by any chance like say that he had to catch a red eye? And my brother was like, yes, a couple times. And I was like, oh, I'll explain the red eye thing. <laughs> <laughs> he come up to Amazingly my brother. Amazingly dumb. Amazingly <laughs> dumb. <laughs> kind of like, you know, he had like chest out. Also, my brother's like a nebbishy Jew. Like, what? <laughs> why did he need to pick a fight with this lovely like Jewish social worker? And he come up. Meanwhile, you know, he's like a jacked construction dude. Right. He's come up real aggressively. My brother, he said, and he'd be like, dude, I better leave. I got to catch a red eye, but this isn't fucking over. <laughs> I gotta go back to war. <laughs> Going to play war again. F in my red eye. Oh my god. And that, like, can you believe that there are some guys out there who, like, like they're like, I can't get a date or I haven't gotten laid. And there's the guy who doesn't even know what catch a red eye means. And sweeping up. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's not right. I wish I could be the Robin Hood of pussy and take it away from guys like that. Yeah, and give, give it, it to the give scientists. It to, wouldn't that be great? Deserve it. Yes. The Robin Hood of pussy. <laughs> How could we physically do that? You need to like, you need to like kidnap them, Although, or chloroform over, take them out of the bar, prop them up next to the nice guy when they come to. You fuck this guy now. Yes. I mean that is it's, later. Sometimes, uh, sometimes in my career, that quote is going to get taken out of contest, and, and yes. somebody's going to say to me, "You know, pussies should, can make their own decisions for themselves." And I will say on the record that I no, do know cannot. that. But I could be no, a helpful Robin Hood. I no, could just no, be listen. like, "Look, pussies you know. cannot think for themselves." Maybe, and maybe. neither can dicks. And that's how we end up in these situations where you fuck people who you would never even actually entertain might be right a conversation yeah. with them. But all of a sudden, your pussy wants their dick, and their dick wants the pussy. So now you're. You're talking to the, the dumb guy who lies about the war. And then I would come home and I'd be like, you're drunk. And he'd be like, I'm not drunk. You want to fight? Actually, I'm going to edit a drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one night he was just like shirtless. And um, no, no, he had on not shirtless. He was he had on like a um, kind of Magnum P.I. type, like Hawaiian, like, like you know, kind of. Up. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And um balls dick and just like a fun loving Hawaiian button down <laughs> shirt sitting on the edge of his bed just bright red you know the kind of drunk where you're <laughs> yeah, like wet yeah. you, you know like fluorescent red yes. yeah 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 and I was like you're fucking drunk he's like I'm not drunk you obviously want to fight and I'm not <laughs> and I was like why do you have a Hawaiian shirt on was, it, was the was shirt buttoned or not buttoned <laughs> No. Fascinating. No. Button. Just so he's doing like Winnie the Pooh. He's got yes. no pants on. Took the time to button it up. Didn't put any pants on. He's just sitting there dicking balls out, bright red Dick drunk. balls, bright red drunk with his Hawaiian top on. I mean, I he was, I'll wish say he was, he was fun. I won't give him that. He was a yeah. time. Yeah. He was fun. <laughs> and uh, it was entertaining, if nothing else. And he's like, I'm not drunk. And then he just quietly fell Tipped forward over. off his bed just oh, face no. forward it was the dumbest fall because he had like a nice thick carpet so his stupid head just went plopping into the dumb carpet and i think around that time i gave him some sort of ultimatum i was like if you don't if you don't put some pants on and, and we are not dating anymore that he was yeah there was that not was a chance it. in hell yeah. yeah i i what i wonder is like when you when you hear stories like this, this is this is one of those like man you should like make a series about this or write a book about the the dating exploits is it, or do you think everybody has these stories? Is there so many dumb people? I don't know, so I don't know if anybody's made its so disastrous many... choices. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say that's that. That's what I mean. I, I know it feels that way, but I promise you. Maybe, I promise yeah. You, I mean, the guy, some... the guy that would go through my my history a lot. He would do. He would often take my um, laptop and he would get mad and he would start screaming about some yeah. guy's Facebook photo I liked. And then I, one thing he did that was really strange, when he would get really mad, he would make these wild noises, like Howard Dean type noises. Yeah! Yes, yeah, so he was like, ah! No way. <laughs> yeah. Like a monkey? Kind of. Like, 
more like just like ah, like when a guy gets excited in a campaign, he takes it a little yeah. too far. Yeah. yeah, the only way to describe it is Howard Dean. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and he would make Howard Dean like noises, and then he would and he would be like ah, you whore, ah! and then he would run with the laptop to the freezer, and I was used to that freezer run. I was like, oh, here's the he, thing. He's time bringing where we have the laptop to, to the freezer. freezer to like put it in there or something. Yes, and he would put it in the freezer, which I think it's. If I want to get into his specifically psychotic mind, I think he would wanted to like destroy it, but he knew that that the stakes would be a little too high with that, so he kept like, throwing like it out a window. Smash or, it! Yeah, so I'm thought, gonna put this in the freezer. So he thought he would freezer what it. What a fucking and dork! And I was used to that and freezer. Like, run. I mean, how many times do you yeah. think you did the freezer run? I mean, like it got to point. It was a very familiar jog for me, like yeah. from the bedroom to the freezer. I was the like, the fact okay. that you're sitting there, like, he's going, he's going to the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> it's one freezer. of the funniest. That this is making red eye guy sound like a fucking <laughs> marriage material, husband material. You just finished up another video here on KFC Radio, so click subscribe. If you watched it all the way through, you know that you like our content. You know you're gonna watch more of our content in the future. So click subscribe now, and it'll just pop up on your YouTube. You it, won't miss anything. It is free. I promise you. Zero dollars. Free for you. Great for us. Click it.